It's time for Digital Ideas. I'm Mike Yeomans, and we're on the phone today with Ellis Lindsay. Ellis, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Well, we keep hearing about carrier Wi-Fi, so maybe you can clarify what carrier Wi-Fi is about and why it's taken off. Okay. Wi-Fi is, well, in most people's minds, Wi-Fi is just Wi-Fi. But from a carrier perspective, there's a whole lot of infrastructure that's necessary in order to make it uh, accessible to uh, the, the public through indoor and outdoor access points. And the reason that they're doing this is really to enhance the value proposition so subscribers can access their data and their services uh, outside of their home and, and basically get more value for their money. And so the, in this, many cases, it's being deployed as uh, public Wi-Fi in, in uh, like shopping malls or stadiums, and many operators are also doing what's called uh, community Wi-Fi by uh, extending the range of these public Wi-Fi services by leveraging the, the residential gateways that are deployed for, for home broadband. So you've touched on this, but how are carriers deploying Wi-Fi? Right, so as, as I just mentioned, right, community Wi-Fi is, uh, is a big push, and that's really in taking advantage of the, the Wi-Fi radios that are in people's homes. This doesn't mean that their access is, uh, that people can access their home networks. It's actually a, a very specific technology to uh, allow devices to access Wi-Fi, but really be controlled by the network. So it's, it's completely segregated. It's got nothing to do with that home access other than sharing that broadband pipe in the in the access network. So that, that's one aspect. The other parts are really outdoor hotspots, so in a public park, uh, in a stadium, as I mentioned, and really being able to access Wi-Fi services everywhere and have that uh, carrier level of stability and uh, and also authentication so that when users sign on, they're actually signing on as part of their broadband account. So so if there is difficulties and if they're, they're not experiencing good Wi-Fi, they actually do have somebody to call similar to what they do when they have, uh, uh, when they're using their home broadband. And what are the impacts to the end user? Well, this, this is very much the same as any other consumer service. We can't really uh, create something completely different for Wi-Fi because the, the user has to go through their, their normal uh, processes. They have to get the service, they're going to consume the service, and at, at times they're going to need to get support because things aren't going the way they expect. So in the in that initial sign-up process, the users need to get on, uh, need to connect to that network, they need to become authenticated, they need to uh, get their devices associated with that network so that they can actually consume it. So this generally involves uh, going to a sign-up portal or uh, as part of a, a more broad converged service, it could be that the the subscriber goes and uh, just says, yes, I want to I want to get public Wi-Fi uh, or as part of my offering. So uh, automatically configure my devices and, and make it all work for me. So basically provide a, a way that the users don't need to go out and figure out what is that SSID, is there a password, how do I sign up, just basically make it happen through uh, a simple enablement of a feature through a website. Right? And these are the kinds of things that uh, the Moda portfolio, in conjunction with the rest of the, the Alcatel Lucent solutions, are really getting towards, which is very, very much oriented towards simplifying the customer experience. One final question. So when I think about this globally, uh, is there any one region that's moving faster than another? Well, I think there's there's two regions that are actually moving fairly quickly. Europe has been uh, quite aggressive in in what they're doing, and North America is not very far behind. So, in, in my mind, they're they're very very close. And these these regions are are moving ahead through public Wi-Fi. Uh, in general, it seems that the cable operators are moving a little bit more aggressively. But at the same time, the, the traditional telco offers have had Wi-Fi services for some time. And now they're just, uh, both camps are effectively evolving their services to be more user-friendly, uh, being able to uh, get, let users sign up more easily and uh, have broader reach across the, the geographies that they're deployed in. So, so really, it's uh, we're starting to see a, a very broad acceptance of, of public Wi-Fi and, and community Wi-Fi. So... Uh, the expectation is just that it's there now. Ellis, thanks a lot for your time today. Okay, thanks very much. That was Ellis Lindsay from Alcatel-Lucent. This has been Digital Ideas. And thanks for tuning in.